Hey guys, and today we're going to be showing the enhanced in the enhanced interior camera mod in BeamNG Drive. So, so we're going to start off by showing how you download this mod. So you're just going to go up into you're going to open the main menu, and you're going to click on mods, or it'll be like repository right here, repository. Or if you're in the game, you can click mods. Then you can click on repository up here. Then you're just going to want to type in right here. Enhanced interior. It'll be right here. Enhanced interior camera. So you're just gonna click right here. It'll say subscribe. Since I already have it, it'll, it'll it's gonna say unsubscribe. So you're gonna click that. Then you'll go back to your mods manager. You'll see it's downloading up here. Then it should already be activated. But if not, then just click this. Just click right here. This um, this orange, this orange like minus with a cross over it. So yeah, if I click on this right here, it activates this mod right here, the 6.0 power stroke. But I'm gonna turn that off since we're not gonna be using that right now. But yeah, so so the way you use this mod is when you're changing through your camera, your camera angles. You'll see you have driver, chase, driver, hood. Then you got right here. You'll see UI camera mode shaky driver. So that's basically the whole mod right there. So um, first thing we're gonna be showing today is um, the shaky camera when you go over 100 miles an hour. So. So I'm just going to drive fast so you guys can see. I'm currently going about 160, now 200. You guys can see the camera is completely smooth. That's quite unrealistic, unlike real life. Now we uh, respawn. Here, I want to um, just want to go back. I want to go back to the center of the map. Um, map center. There we go. So, so um, if we change it to here now to shaky driver, we get some speed here. here we go. You guys can see. Once we get over 100 miles an hour, you guys can see car starts to shake. It's a little bit closer to real life now how it works with the car shaking, but yeah, so. But yeah, so the next thing I wanted to show, the next thing we're going to be showing is the drifting. So, is what happens when you drift. So, we're going to get into a drift car. So, my drift car of choice would probably be the Bishu Pessima with, wait, no, this is the wrong car. Uh, my drift car of choice would probably be the ETK i-series with, is this the wrong car too? It's the wrong car too. Um... <laughs> Um, I think was it? Which one was it? It was one of these four door car, four four door cars. Was it this one? I don't know. Was it this one right here? Is it this one? No. Uh, was it this one? Which one of these was it? I forgot. Alright guys, so I found out it's this one right here, the Gar Gar the Gavril Grand Marshal. So right here, this drift missile right here with about 500 brake horsepower. So as you see, when we drift. So this is what it looks like when drifting normally in first person. Not very shaky, you guys can tell there's a little bit of motion blur. And if we change over to the, uh, the shaky driver, go back to first. Look here, am I in first? Go drift a little bit. It's a little bit more like shaky, a little bit more like realistic. Oh shoot, that's water. That's water. Get out of there. Get 
can see when we drift is a little bit shakier. So then, next up is, uh, we're gonna go back to the beginning of the map, we're gonna hop back into the bolide. Um, uh, where was it? This one right here, the bolide. So, next up is the jump physics, is the new jump camera angle, so, we're gonna hit this jump going about 200 miles an hour, in the normal driver camera, so you guys can see. Oh, that's kilometers right there, that is. We're going about 240 kilometers, 280 kilometers. So this is what a jump looks like on 280 kilometers. Uh, I mean, this is what a jump looks like on the normal camera angle. So you guys can see. See, it's not that bad, but like it could be better. Not that bad, but you know, it could be better. Uh, the car is a little messed up, so we're going to respawn it here. Now we're going to go to the shaky driver. So, so here we go. We're going about 130, 160, 180. We were going about 180 mile an hour last time. You guys can see face goes straight down to the ground. And let's see what happens when we land. There we go, look at that. The like the entire thing just like shook there. So we're gonna re we're gonna um we're gonna respawn out now. We're gonna spawn in some uh some traffic. It's not there, it is it's AI traffic. Spawn traffic. So then we just gotta wait for it to load for a second and there we go. All the cars are over there. I was hoping there'd maybe be some more over there. Whatever. So, uh, let's get in, like, a better car that's, like, more suited for crashing. Like, um, I don't know. What should we get in? Um. How about we'll get in, you know, this old thing? Let's get in. Normal four-door sedan ah, this seems a little too old uh, don't want that old of a car maybe I mean the buck the this thing this thing's also pretty nice maybe the moonhawk yeah, I don't know Maybe the Barstow? This is more of like a drag car. But we'll just get the in the uh, the buckle of Grand over here. We get the uh, let's see which one should we get? And I want I want one that has like some decent speed. And I'll we'll just get in this one right here. See where are some AI cars? I want to get on like a head -on, head on collision. So this is a, this is a head on collision on here. Okay, this is the normal camera we're on right now. Let's find a car to get on in a head on collision with. Here we go. We'll get on with this guy right here. So then there we go. That was that was the normal camera. It was pretty cool. Now we're going to do that again, except with the shaky camera. So we're just gonna we're just gonna pick up some speed here. Let's see. Here, here we go. This white car right up here. I don't know how well you can see him, but oh, that's a red car in my way. Here, right here. I missed him. No, I don't want to hit this thing. Let's try that again. Here we go, this great car right here. That was a lot better. Like, your head, the head, like, completely shook. 
Like, com like, oh, completely shook. It's now a lowrider. But yeah. But yeah, so, um. But yeah, that's the, uh, the. What's this mod called again? The Enhanced Interior Camera Mod. So, this mod is pretty fun. This mod is incredible. Um, if you're doing more, if you're doing like interior view crash simulations, I would highly recommend you download this mod. Um, but yeah, we got like off-road courses right here. Yeah, sure. Let's hit one of those in this car. Drifting front-wheel drive. Yeah, let's do this right here with this car. Oh, this thing's off-roading like a beast. <laughs> And okay, it's getting stuck here. But yeah, so. But yeah, I'd highly recommend you download this mod if you're, you know, just trying to do crash simulations and we're fully stuck now. But whatever. We got a steep hill climb. Oh, wow, we got some cool off road sections over here. Oh, was that mud? Yeah, let's take this thing mud bogging. Um, but yeah. So, but yeah. So anyway, uh, that'll be the end of this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.